Hello to my friends at Dyersburg Primary School. It's good to see you again. My name is Vanessa Kane. I am the children's librarian here at MacGyver's Grant Public Library downtown across from City Hall. And here I am in my children's department with all of my wonderful, wonderful children's books. And I'm going to get to share two books with you about our community, People We Meet. Today we're going to read the book, Thank You, Amu. This book is by Oge Mora. Oge Mora is the author of this book. That means he wrote the words and also the illustrator of the book, which means they did the pictures. And these pictures are um, collage pictures. And they're made out of other pieces of paper that are cut up and put together to make a picture. Can you see that with that picture? Can you see some of those, those thing, uh, images cut out out of other paper? And there's going to be something really interesting I'm going to show you just in a minute, okay? This book was published by Little Brown and Company. And it says right here, note to the reader, Amu, pronounced A-mu, is the Igbo term for queen. And there's some more of those wonderful pictures. And can you see what this picture is made out of? It's made out of a very certain kind of paper. Can you tell me what kind of paper that is? It's a map, isn't it? Would you like to make a chair out of a map? Wouldn't that be fun? And there's some more maps. There's another one, isn't there? And this one has writing on it as well as the roads. So Amu is a person in our, in our book, and her name means queen. Can you see that wonderful apartment building she lives in? Can you see what's happening in the windows of all those apartments? You see a little bit of writing right there. In that picture. Oh, what is this? What do you think that might be? Oh, there's another apartment you can see in the windows and look at the writing you can see on the wall. It looks like that whole building is just made up of words, isn't it? I would love to visit a building that was made up of words. I kind of do every day, don't I? I do. You do too. On the corner of First Street and Long Street, on the very top floor, Amu was cooking a thick red stew in a big fat pot for a nice evening meal. She seasoned and stirred it and took a small taste. What a delicious stew, Amu said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. And there is Amu and she is making her thick red stew in her big, no, thick red stew in a big fat pot for a nice evening meal. We're gonna remember those words. Maybe you'll say them with me next time. Would you say them with me next time? I want you to look right here. You see that? That's the smell of Amu's yummy dinner. You see it floating out the window? We're gonna talk about that in just a minute, okay? But what do you think might be inside her stew from the picture? Can you see some things on the table that she might have put in her stew as an ingredient? Remember, it's a red stew. What would make it red? Can you talk about that a little bit? What would make your stew red if you put something red in it? What maybe could you put in it that would make it red? With that, Amu put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. As the thick red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out of the window and out of the door and down the hall and toward the street and around the block. And there is Amu reading her book before dinner. There is the thick red stew in the big, I can never remember that, the big pot. And you see that word scrumptious. That's a good word. That means yummy, yummy, yummy. Do you like scrumptious things? I like scrumptious things. And then, oh, this word wafted. I love the word wafted. And look at that wonderful smell wafting out and all out of the window and around the block until knock. Someone was at the door. When Omu, Amu opened it, she saw. I like it when they do that. She saw. Let's see what she saw. We have to turn the page to find out. <gasps> I turned two pages. I missed who was at the door because I the pages stuck together. There we go. A little boy. There's a little boy at the door. You see that that smell wafting? 
little boy, Amu exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell. The little boy replied, what is it? It is thick red stew. Mmm, stew, he said. That sounds yummy. Does thick red stew sound yummy to you? Would you like it for dinner tonight? What would you do if you were Amu and somebody came to your door and said, Mmm, what is that wonderful smell? Amu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner, but she had made quite a bit. It would not hurt to share. Would you like some, she said. The little boy nodded. And so Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. There, we said it again. Can you say that with me? The thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the little boy said, and went on his way. I like how thank you, Amu, is very big. And there she is sharing her thick red stew with her neighbor. We're going to meet a lot of people that are neighbors with Amu. Look right here at that wonderful smell wafting up. It's wafting on every page. I like that word too, wafting. With that, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. As she read, her thick red stew, scrumptious scent wafted out of the window and out of the door and down the hall and toward the street and around the block until, <gasps> knock, knock, two knocks this time, knock, knock. Someone was at the door. When Amu opened the door, this time, she saw, let's see what she saw, <gasps> a police officer. Look at that. You might find a police officer in your community. Miss police officer, Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was on duty down the street when I smelled the most delicious smell, said Miss Police Officer. What is it? Thick red stew. Ah, stew, she said, and her mouth watered. That sounds mighty tasty. And there is that wonderful smell of the thick red stew. Scrumptious smell wafting through the hall and out the door and around the corner and tickling that police officer's nose. Amu thought for a moment. There was still enough to share. Would you like some? The police officer nodded. Once again, Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the officer said, and went on her way. And there again, they put thank you, Amu, in big letters right there, can you see? And do you see Amu sharing her stew and that wonderful scrumptious smell is wafting? And she's being generous, isn't she? She's sharing. And so for the second time, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. Sure enough, as she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out of the window and out the door and down the hall and toward the street and around the block until, do you see the smell wafting? Knock, 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 three knocks this time. Knock, knock, knock. Again, someone was at Amu's door. This time, when she opened it, she saw, let's see who she saw. We have turned the page again, don't we? A hot dog vendor. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor, Amu exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was selling my hot dogs down the block when I smelled the most delicious smell, Mr. Hot Dog Vendor replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Oh, stew. The vendor licked his lips. That sounds quite delectable. Delectable is a good word too, isn't it? That means yummy, 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 delectable. There's that wonderful stew wafting out the door as Amu talks to the hot dog vendor. So, Amu spoons some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the hot dog vendor said, and he went on his way. 
And this time you can see that scent wafting out of the bowl and straight to the hot dog vendor's nose. He can smell that wonderful, scrumptious smell. And he said it was delectable, which means yummy, yummy, yummy. Throughout the day, people from all across the neighborhood knocked on Amu's door. She fed a shop owner, a cab driver, a doctor, an actor, a lawyer, a dancer, a baker, an artist, a singer, an athlete, a bus driver, a construction worker, and even the mayor stopped by. Look at all those people in that picture. Can you see all those people? I'm going to show you that picture really close. Can you see how all those illustrations are made from paper cut up and pasted to the paper? I still see some, some of that paper has words on it. Do you see any that have words on it? Those are a lot of people in our community right on that page, aren't there? And each time they knocked, Amu shared. That was very nice of her to share her thick red stew from her big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Soon, the sky darkened, the street lights brightened, and it was finally time for dinner. But when Amu opened her big fat pot of thick red stew for her nice evening meal, it was not red anymore is it it's white because it's empty what is she gonna eat for dinner now that she shared all of her dinner let's find out what happens Amu sniffled there goes the best dinner I ever had sorry and blue she sat on the table with her empty pot until knock 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 see knock 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 there's a lot of knocks who could that be, Amu wondered. And when she opened the door, she saw, let's see who she saw. <gasps> the little boy, the police officer, the dog vendor, hot dog vendor, oops, the shop owner, the cab driver, the doctor, the actor, the lawyer, the dancer, the baker. <gasps> Why everybody she fed today was at her door. I'm sorry, everyone, Amu sighed. My thick red stew is all gone. I have nothing left to share. The little boy tugged at Amu's sleeves. Don't worry, Amu. We're not here to ask. We are here to give. I like how that's in big letters, too. Just like, thank you, Amu. And do you see him? See how sad she looks? But he's saying, don't worry, Amu. <gasps> And look at all of the friends at the door, all there to share, just like Amu shared with them. The police officer carried in a fresh salad. The mayor entered with a roast chicken. The baker brought a collection of sweet goodies. The little, even little boy presented Amu with something special in a shiny red envelope. Everyone who had knocked on Amu's door that day squeezed inside her tiny apartment and together they ate and danced and celebrated. While Amu's big fat pot of thick red stew was empty, her heart was full of happiness and love. And let's look at all of our friends from the community. All of our friends from the community. And Amu, do you see her red envelope that she received? And all that wonderful food. And I see some scents that are wafting. I see that wafting smell. And there's her envelope. Let's see. That dinner was the best she ever had. And there's the end. And there is Amu's note that says, Thank you, Amu. So she not only got a wonderful dinner and a lot of fun with her new friends in the community, but she got a note that said, Thank you. And look, sharing is a lot like giving thanks. They both bring people together. And there is that wonderful, yummy smell wafting around the back of our book.
I like that book. Did you like that book? I loved it. I want you to think about what your favorite food is. What would you share with Amu if you went to her house? And I want you to talk a little bit more about that word, wafting. I like that. Have you ever had a wonderful yummy smell waft out of the kitchen toward you and tickle your nose until your stomach started growling and you just couldn't wait to eat it? I love this book and I love you and I'm so glad I got to, to share this with you today. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and you're really good for your teachers.